This GS6, you know, I designed it to have a lot more backbone to it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot heavier action rod, and it just works better when you're bombing heavy weights around or heavy tubes. I love to throw a big swim bait with it. And you can see, I mean, it's got a lot of taper to the tip, and I still got a long rod that moves a lot of line, but I've got a ton of backbone to this rod. That feels like a good one. I still match it up with a, with a 30 series reel. 300 series KVD reel. Um, it's got a super smooth drag to it. This has got to be a good one here. And um, and I, I love the you know the light braid and tie an FG knot with a fluorocarbon leader to it. It just really helps you to cast far. Oh yeah, great big one. And this is what you're you're looking for. I I'm on my 360 and I can see a little log pile out here. I'm gonna mark that. This is a really good fish. So you still got a lot of power to, to fight a fish with a rod like this, but I just can't stress enough how important it is to have long rods for this type of fishing. When you're open water fishing, uh, and this smallmouth fishing almost always is, you wanna have these type of rods. So. Here's a big old chub here. Yeah. What you're looking for. Yeah, look at there. Five pounder all day right there. I mean, just really strong. I got a half ounce drop shot weight, big rod. I mean, that's why we call it the smallmouth special right there. That's the GS6. I mean, this GS6 and the GS7, that is my go-to. Where I grew up here in Michigan, these are rods you have to have in your arsenal.